Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the righttrader.com back again with another cryptocurrency video. Today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to register ENS domains and everything you need to know about ENS domains as well. So to get started, the first two things you're going to want to have is MetaMask uh, downloaded and set up as well as some Ethereum on your actual uh, MetaMask wallet because this is what you're going to be using to pay for the uh, the registration and fees on the Ethereum network. So in this video, we're going to be going ahead and uh, registering the actual name of my YouTube channel, the right trader dot ETH. And as you can see here, uh, you've got a few options. You have the registration period and you can increase this um, to as much as you want. Right. But do keep in mind every year that you add on is going to add to the actual uh, registration costs. However, one of the benefits of doing this is you can register multiple years and you pay less gas fees since you won't have to register it every year again and pay those gas fees on top of it. So that is something to keep in mind. So for um, this example, I have about $67 in Ethereum and we're going to go ahead and register um, the right trader .eth for the next three years. And as you can see here, uh, over here in the description of what you're paying for, you can see the um, total price right for the actual registration and then you have the gas fees. So uh, the thing that is a bit disappointing with the Ethereum network right now is the gas fees are actually more than the actual price to register the domain, but that is just what it is. It's the price you pay to use the Ethereum network and by all means it is the biggest um, you know, network for, for this type of stuff. In fact, um, these ENS domains have absolutely skyrocketed in the last 24 hours. We can see the volume, um, you know, increasing over 3,700% in the last seven days alone. It's now top 10 um, in NFTs on OpenSea. And I expect really uh, .eth domains to become the .com of the future. So as you can see, there's three steps on uh, what you're gonna have to do to be able to register the domain. So the first thing you're gonna do is just click here, uh, request to register. This is gonna uh, get the process started. And uh, keep in mind that you're gonna have to be paying some uh, Ethereum fees um, for, for all of these, right? So uh, first off, you've got this, uh, this registration right here. This is just gonna set everything up and uh, make sure that it's fully available for you to set up. And right here, you're gonna see this transaction pending, right? This means that uh, everything is working on the network and in the back end to go ahead and complete this transaction. Uh, it's pretty fast usually, obviously this depends on the, the Ethereum network as well and the speeds, but uh, for the most part, it is a pretty quick process. As you can see, there's a very small waiting period of about one minute just to make sure that um, you know the that it's free and that no one is trying to take the um, domain at the same time as you, et cetera. So this is really to protect you right for making sure that you can get the domain you want to get and uh, once again just stay focused remain patient while you're going through this uh, but overall right it is a very smooth process and then we're going to have our last step here which is step three uh, which is going to be to complete the registration right and that's what we're going to do in just a few seconds here and that's actually going to complete the registration fully and assign uh, this dot eth address to our actual Ethereum address, right? And you can actually also choose to uh, set this up to, uh, you know, fully be your main uh, .eth address linked to your Ethereum address. But that's something that I'll be explaining maybe in a different video. For now, we're gonna keep it basic. So the third step here, last step, this one is gonna cost um, some gas as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get it there for that around $39 that we talked about. That's gonna register this for uh, three full years, which is pretty cool. So as you can see here, we are setting this up and completing the registration, and there we go. So a few things that you can take a look at uh, on this actual page now that we have gotten it is, uh, you know, we have officially completed the registration. Uh, you can set it as your primary ENS name, which is what I talked about, right? And uh, you can pretty much from here uh, do what you want with your domain name. You have the details uh, to show you, you know, who owns it, what time you purchased it, etc. And then there's subdomains, which once again, I'm not going to be getting too much into that, but it could play a part in the future of these Ethereum domain names. However, I did want to show you a few more things. Uh, one of the things that we're going to be looking at here is uh, when you register your domain, it's going to appear on OpenSea, right? If you uh, 
opened up and linked your uh, your MetaMask to OpenSea, you're going to see your .eth address actually appear on OpenSea. Uh, sometimes this doesn't actually appear right away. In that case, you're going to want to click refresh metadata, and that's going to make sure that OpenSea has everything up to date with the Ethereum network and make sure your name is appearing. Now, there are also a few different uh, specifics that I want to show you with these um, ENS domains and, and in the actual registration process, because obviously these are, um, you know, kind of hard to get sometimes the good names. And I'll be talking a little bit about that. So when you look up these, uh, these uh, Ethereum addresses, you're going to see a few things, right? You're going to see um, when they expire or a few different options. So some of them will have an expiration date. Um, but after that, right, there's actually a grace period where it is still not available to actually, um, you know, uh, register it. But uh, if the other person who had registered it previously wants to renew it, then they will be able to do that in that grace period. So unfortunately, in that period, you will not be able to actually get that domain name. Now, if we actually click and see what this looks like uh, in terms of the registration, if you come up on a name that's already been registered, it's going to tell you that. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get that at that time. Uh, but there are still going to be a few other options, right? Like I said, um, for names that are expiring soon, you're going to see when the grace period ends. And after the grace period, you're not going to be able to get that just yet. Uh, technically, you could, but what happens is there's a um, premium that uh, appears, right? A temporary premium, and this premium is ever decreasing. So it's a, it's a exponent here where basically the price is going to go down. The premium on top of the base registration price and everything is uh, going to be quite high initially. And then over time, right, uh, it's going to decrease, decrease, decrease until it's more affordable. And of course, at any time, you can actually, you know, uh, purchase this in this process, right? It's just that it starts out really high um, at thousands of dollars, and then it comes down right into the you know, $100 and, and, and then basically the premium will be zero and you'll be able to get it for that base price of the registration. Uh, a couple other things to keep in mind here uh, with how these domains work is uh, depending on the amount of characters you use, it will cost more. So uh, anything that is five characters or more is going to be five ETH per year. Uh, $5 in ETH per year. For four characters, it's going to be uh, quite a bit more expensive. That's going to be $160 in ETH per year. And then for three character .eth domain names, that is going to be the most expensive tier. That's going to cost $640. Also, um, keep in mind that you can't register uh, two character or one character uh, .eth um, addresses. It is only going to be uh, three characters long minimum. So that is also something to keep in mind. And uh, like I said, that is how it works in terms of actually getting this on OpenSea. It is very easy. It's pretty much automatic as soon as you, you know, add your, your um, MetaMask and, and uh, connect it to OpenSea. And you will need to do this as well on actual um, ENS here. You'll have to click uh, connect your, your actual wallet to begin using it and registering and everything. And uh, the last thing that I uh, just wanted to talk about is just the future of these uh, these domains. I'm extremely bullish on them. Um, it's been front page news today that these uh, three and four digit domains specifically in numbers have absolutely skyrocketed, right? So for example, one, two, three, four, uh, that is going for around 0 0.5 ETH right now. And, uh, you know, I've been expecting for a long time these, uh, these dot ETH addresses to, you know, really skyrocket and uh, become the future. And we're starting to see the beginning of this now, right? We saw over $1.3 million in sales over the last 24 hours. Uh, this is a huge increase. And this is actually something that can be seen directly on the um, OpenSea page. If we look at the activity, right, we're going to see that right now it is a pretty impressive statistics. Uh, we are actually at the absolute all-time high in terms of volume that we've ever seen for uh, .eth domains. And I think that this is really just the beginning. Um, so it's been pretty steady since it's launched. We had initial period of hype back here, but uh, now we saw even more hype. And I think this is just the uh, very tip of the iceberg uh, of what is going to be in the future. One of the most popular uh, things on OpenSea and on FTs and really uh, one of the, the main ways for domains of the future. It uses something called IPFS. This is a fully decentralized um, you know, uh, DAO, the Ethereum name service, uh, short for ENS. 
And uh, basically, that is pretty much all you need to know. Make sure to follow me on Twitter uh, for live cryptocurrency updates. And also check out Big.com, my favorite exchange for trading cryptocurrencies. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.